But often what happens is, what do we do? We pick up, we won't, uh, we, when we are dealing with people, we pick up their character and forget our character. We say, he's behaving like this, so therefore I should behave like that too. No. Regardless of how the other behaves, we must behave and portray our character. It's like in, when you visit, when you go to Asda, for example, and you get into the counter, the people who are sitting behind the counter who are serving you, they have all sorts of people telling them. They have those people who would be very nice, give them a smile, say thank you for that, right? And then you have, they have those who frown in their faces and say, hurry up, pack my bags for me. But they still have to be nice to them. Why? Because they're selling a product. Doesn't matter how. Now, if they end up picking up the character of their customers, what's going to happen? Who's going to be in the loss? Who's going to be in the loss? Those who are selling the product. We've got a product. And what's that product? Our product that Allah has given us is paradise. And everyone is a customer of that paradise. Now Allah has placed us in the honor. Uh, Allah has honored us that He has made us by virtue of the Prophet sallallahu inviters to that product. Now if we, if we leave the character of the Prophet sallallahu and pick up the character of the customers, then they're not really going to be interested in the product. Because a good salesman, a good salesman has to sell himself before he sells his product. Isn't that right? A good salesman has to sell himself before he sells his product. So if you have a salesperson come to your door and uh, he's dressed like a hippie, you're not going to be bothered with what he's got. But if he's dressed smart and he's well presented, then you want to give him your ear and you want to listen to what he's got to offer. Isn't that right? Likewise, the Prophet sallallahu when he had the monastics around him, he portrayed to them his character. When the hypocrites would sit in his gathering, he portrayed to them his character and he didn't pick up their character. Isn't that right? Sometimes it's a tough one, isn't it? Sometimes it's a tough one. But then if we look at uh, the, the consequences, then we, be, we have to be patient. Because the consequences of uh, uh, stick, standing up with principles is much better than the consequences in giving it to the character of the other. Islam spread to, to the Far East and uh, places like Malaysia and Indonesia and, and Singapore. And if you look into these lands, there was never a Muslim army that ever went to those lands. And when I was there recently, uh, I spoke to people and, and they told us that Muslims from across the Muslim world came to do trade and business in our lands. And due to their good character and their high lofty principles, the entire land was accepted oh, Islam. Oh. Indonesia is the, is the largest populated Muslim country in the world. It's got the highest population of Muslims uh, in the world, Indonesia. Right? But a Muslim army never went to those lands, never. It was a tradesmen from Yemen who went to Indonesia due to their high lofty uh, character and their good intentions, people came to Islam. Uh, likewise Malaysia, likewise Singapore, right? It's this character that we need to revive in our workplaces, right? That when people see us, they see a difference in us. They see something different. The Prophet said, Don't be people who blind follow others. Be outstanding amongst people. Be outstanding amongst people that people just look at you and say, wow, this is something different. I had a friend, a doctor who worked at uh, Heartlands, and uh, he, he was going to shift from that hospital to another. 
And one of his colleagues, another friend of mine, told me, he said, do you know everyone in that ward that he worked in is upset? All of the doctors, all of the nurses, they're just upset. They said, you know, when this particular person was, was in the ward, he was so cheerful, so happy, and he just brought happiness and joy to the hearts of everybody. Right? Just the way he was uh, portraying himself and being an ambassador, he brought happiness to the hearts of everybody in that ward. Right? This is the character that we need to be with when we're in our workplaces, when we're dealing with others, that people see a difference.